Today we're going to be taking a look at the Kurt Pintel Hook with a 2 and 5 16th inch ball. The Pintel Hook and Hitch Ball combo is going to let you hook up your trailer to your tow vehicle. The shank is going to slide into the receiver tube of your hitch. And then the Pintel Hook is going to connect to a Lynette ring coupler. And then you can use the Hitch Ball to connect to a standard ball coupler. The unit's made from a strong forged steel construction. It's going to have rust resistant finishes. So here on the um, shank and then the Pintel area, the combo area, that's going to have a nice high gloss black powder coat finish. Highly resistant towards rust and corrosion and it's going to keep its nice look for a long time. And then the hitch ball, that's going to be steel, that's going to be chrome plated as well. So that's going to be resistant towards rust and corrosion and it's going to look nice. It's going to have that nice shine to it. Uh, here up top we're going to have the tethered safety pin. This is included for the pintle hook. So if you want to raise this up when you're connecting your Lynette ring, or when you just want to use it as the uh, 2 and 5 16 inch ball, pull that out. What I mean by tethered is it has a nice little cable that keeps it connected so you don't have to worry about misplacing it or losing it. Lift up on this T lever here and then pull back on the unit. It's going to snap into position at this point. To keep it in the open position, you can reinstall the pin and keep it in the open position. And then that way you can use this with your standard ball coupler. And you can go ahead and connect your Lynette ring if you want to use it for a Lynette ring coupler. To bring it back down, simply remove the pin, lift the unit back to where it sits on top of the hitch ball, and then always secure it in either position with that included um, safety pin. Now to get this secured inside of your hitch, it does require a hitch pin and clip or a hitch lock. Those items are sold separately. If you're in need of one, you can find them right here at eTrailer.com. The pinhole diameter here on the shank is going to measure 5 eighths of an inch. This is designed for a 2 and a half inch by 2 and a half inch trailer hitch receiver. It's going to fit Lynette ring couplers with a minimum inner diameter of 2 and a half inches. The ball size on the unit is 2 and 5 sixteenths of an inch and it's going to have a gross towing weight capacity of 20,000 pounds. A few measurements that I want to go over with you real quick. We're going to take a look at the overall length, so measuring from very back to very front. This is going to give us a measurement. Looks to measure right around 15 inches long. The distance that we have from the center of the hitch pinhole to the center of the pintle hook, so measuring to the center of the open area. That's going to give us a measurement of about nine and a half inches. The distance that we have from the center of the hitch pinhole to the center of the hitch ball, that looks like it's going to measure about 11 and 1 quarter inches long. That's going to do it for today's look at the Kurt Pintle Hook with a 2 and 5 16th inch hitch ball.